Allison here and in today's FileMaker tutorial we are going to learn how to create a contact entry screen so that an intern can come in and enter some contacts for us without having access to our main contacts uh, database. So in order to do that we created a, a new table called contact entry that the intern will enter the data into and then once the data is entered we'll go ahead afterwards and import it into our main contact database. So in order to uh, set the intern up we need to go ahead and create a layout for the intern to enter the data into so that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. So first I am looking at the um, contact detail screen uh, for the main database that has over a thousand records in it and I am going to go into edit layout and I am going into uh, click the button new layout it is going to be uh, showing records from the contact entry table and I'm going to name the layout contact entry and it's for computer and it's a form and we're finished and it automatically uh, creates four, three parts uh, on the layout. The header is here, the body is here, and the footer is here. For this uh, purpose, we do not need the footer, so I've got it selected, and I'm going to click, uh, it's dark here, and I'm going to click the delete button, and it will go away. And now I'm going to use the field picker, and I'm going to hold my shift key down. The first name is selected. I'm going to select email. And now all of the fields are selected. And I'm going to drag them onto the layout. And so I am done with the field picker. And I am going to move. Uh, I dragged to select these. And I'm going to move them over a little bit. And I'm going to drag and select the fields and move them over a little bit. And I want these to be a little bit um, farther apart from one another so that it's a little easier to read. So I moved the, um, I sort of selected and dragged to select those two and drag them down a bit. And now I'm going to select and drag around all of these fields and I'm going to right or control click and select arrange and uh, distribute vertically and that gives some nice space um, between uh, the fields and then I'm going to do the same thing for the labels I'm going to select them all and then right click and choose arrange and distribute vertically and they're all nice and lined up now the next thing I'm going to do is I want these to be uh, square. Right now they have a rounded corner. So I am going to go into the inspector. If you don't see the inspector, you can click on the eye. It'll toggle it for you. And into the formatting section, which is the uh, paint palette uh, icon at the top. And about midway down uh, is where the uh, corner radius is. And I'm going to say zero and then hit my enter key. So now they are square. Next I'm going to take that uh, first field and drag it down so it is touching the uh, last name uh, field underneath it. And I'm going to go ahead and see how high that is. I'm going to click on the inspector the ruler uh, which uh, allows me to size my objects. And I'm going to notice that the height of that field that I'm selected on is 31 points. PT. If yours says IN or CM, just touch it, click on it, and it will toggle to the different measurements until you see points, which I find easier uh, to, an easier measurement to work with when uh, creating layouts. So that is 31. So now I am going to drag to select all but the first name field. I'm going to click into the height and uh, double click so that that number that is 266, it can be whatever it is uh, in yours. And then I'm going to type 31, which is the height I want of the field, and click Enter. And now all of my fields are evenly distributed and of the same height, and they're shaping up nicely. 
Um, the other thing is that the text is aligned to the top. I'd prefer it to be aligned to the middle. So I'm going to again select it and right or sh um, control click and um, choose. Uh, align and middles. Edit undo. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to the format menu and choose align text. And uh, instead of top, I want it to align to the center. There we go. So already we're uh, shaping up nicely. So the only other thing I did um, in terms of this, right now we're ready to go. We're uh, ready to enter some data if we go into view browse mode. Um, you know, it's looking good. I could uh, start creating records here. We have zero uh, created. And uh, earlier I customized the toolbar so that the only thing that the intern could do was add a new record. Uh, and in another uh, video, I'll put a link to it uh, below, I show you how to customize the uh, toolbar so that you can uh, determine what buttons show up at the top. So this one has just the new record. So if I click it, um, I'm ready to go. I can uh, start uh, typing, hit the tab key to get to the next field, and uh, next, title, etc. So it's really good to go and simple here. You could stop here um, and it would be totally fine. And just to show you, uh, to give it a little bit of styling, um, if we click the shape icon and then drag here, and I'm gonna, under the uh, pre-made styles, I have a content region that has the color that I like. And I'm gonna go to back to styling and I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a radius of three. And then I'm going to right or control click and uh, choose a range, send to back. And I am going to hold my option or on the windows, I think it's the alt key and click and drag maintains the same height um, of the object. And then I'm just going to stretch it and right click it and arrange send to back. And I'm going to select my fields. It also selects the object. So I'm going to hold the shift key down uh, so that I deselect the object. And then I'm gonna use my right arrow key just to micro move this a little bit into the uh, center. And so now if I go into view browse mode, I have a pretty good looking data entry screen. So my intern is ready to go ahead and enter data. So that is our short tutorial on creating a new data entry layout for our intern. You'll notice that we only have the one record um, in this, so there's no chance of the intern um, making any accidental changes uh, or depending on the nature of the data, even seeing the data if it's a bit confidential. Uh, all we have them do is enter the new data into this uh, table here and we are good to go. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.